Hello, welcome in the next video. Uh, today I will show you how to play uh, Cantus Firmus in tenor, so a trio form. Vardema um, Rutski asking comment to, to show it. The first thing, um, if I speak about uh, tenor, uh, how to say tenor uh, <laughs> choral prayers, uh, I don't think in free voice, like free part, uh, but in four part. I've studied it like this way. So the left hand is playing tenor voice, the right hand is playing soprano and alto, and the, with the feet I play um, bass, uh, bass voice. So um, I will show you these two possibilities as a trio. So. Uh, bass, tenor and soprano and uh, like a four voice um, um, yeah, piece uh, with uh, bass, uh, so bass, uh, tenor and uh, soprano and alto. So let's start. The most important thing is to harmonize everything. So if I have a melody, choral melody, So the beginning of this choral, because uh, Valdemar asked me to make it on this uh, example of Ach, Gott und Herr, uh, the melody is uh, falling or descending tetrachord and then ascending tetrachord. This is also the best way to start with those kind of uh, uh, choral playing in another voice, because uh, yeah, we know we can <laughs> Uh, make it also with the help of uh, rule of the octave. So first, if I have in my tenor voice uh, C, I will play it with trumpet. So I can find at the beginning only the roots of, of, of this voice. So like C, G, be like nota contra notam, so one note in the left hand in cantus firmus, one note in bass. I can play also uh, C, G and then F sharp in pedal, it will be also possible. Another option will be two notes uh, for one cantus firmus note, so like it is possible because uh, I can see this choral uh, uh, choral notes augmented, so I can make also some. It is possible to make a four notes uh, about one choral note. So, but um, we should uh, stay uh, at the beginning only with one or two maximal. And you ask, okay, what harmony the next? The very important thing is to find a clause or cadenzas uh, at the end of each choral verse. For, for example, here I have. So my uh, end point is G. So before G is AA. So I've, I'm thinking about uh, tenor clause. So it's going like this. The answer in, in pedal is a bass uh, a clause, like bass clause. It was G, E, C, D, G. And I can start also uh, harmonizing with. Uh, uh, F sharp in bass, it will be also possible, but yeah, but uh, with, with uh, E in bass, then the same way also in, in, in uh, ascending tetrachord, 
uh, I can uh, I can improvise um, how to say uh, yeah like uh, ascending line and also I'm thinking my uh, my ending is on C so I'm thinking in okay I should first play um, a cadenza uh, in, in C so like this uh, soprano clause here uh, sorry. Like, I can start with G. And it would be really first um, the first step to achieve fluency in, in this some different kind of playing of, of choral um, uh, choral bearbeitung in, in German. Sorry, uh, I know I make a lot of mistakes in English and uh, I miss a lot of words. <laughs> but I will try uh, with the time to, uh, to, to, to learn it. So this is the way I would start. Take only part of a scale, one tetrachord, like falling tetrachord, or uh, so descending or ascending tetrachord, and try to play only with it. So if the, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, will, I will play now, um, the second one is ascending and what can I play in the in the right hand, yeah? It is tenor clauser. <laughs> At the end the counterpoint uh, works very very fine if you are thinking on this with this three clauser uh, first soprano and tenor and then bass so it is really like uh, answer for almost everything in the baroque music or in counterpoint um, uh, style so one more time change a little bit, I try to make some figuration in the right hand. And then I start to uh, improvise my right, right hand. So you see, in the left hand, so kind of famous, it should be stable. Uh, my feet are playing still the same way. Yeah, like, and you, you can reduce it also to one note. Okay. Third uh, down from from this uh, Cantus Firmus voice, so like. I spring, uh, uh, I jump, <laughs> not the spring, I jump uh, to F to, to seven, like. Seventh of G major chord. I can uh, also make a, a, a sixth parallel, like uh, six chords, uh, which are parallel moving. And then try to do it in every uh, uh, key, not every <laughs> key because you don't need maybe it, it's in, in 
um, um, A flat or something like this, but you can try it really like in common keys to, to play, like for in, in G, you will need it too. Um, so, yes. sometime it will be easier and easier to, to do it like this because those tetrachord is like like a one part and um, yeah so um, I think it's the best option to 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 try it with this falling uh, descending tetrachord and ascending tetrachord and if you can play it play it really uh, how to say really sure uh, not sure really um, 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 safe if you if you feel safe uh, in your playing then you can go to the next step so I think for this first video it is enough and in second video I will show you the next um, next um, part of this uh, um, yeah, choral prelude and I think we can also speak about some ritornel so what can you play at the beginning or like a zwischenspiel so um, i make also some uh, i made some some recording of this uh, with three voices and four voices and you can also see it uh, on the youtube so thank you very much for this video and see you uh, in next video bye bye